Yo, what's going on, peeps? Holla! It is August 8, 2011, Monday. What's going on? Uh, last night, man, rag attempts. We did 16 attempts on heroic rag. Best attempt was about 67%. Um, overall, it could have gotten better. Uh, we're still trying to figure out how to handle, you know, the moving out of the seeds and stacking up or whatnot. But we didn't really get too, too much into it. Uh, I wish we really could have done just more attempts on it overall. And, um... Uh, it would have been nice to, you know, maybe not down it on normal and do some more attempts today, Monday. But uh, So basically tonight we have the day off. We're like off. We have nothing to do today. Um, I'm going to be logging on to uh, Talion Sargeras. I'm going to be uh, leveling his gear more. I have three piece tier 11 right now. I want to get the rest of the off pieces. And I'm probably going to get uh, one of the uh, tier um, 12 pieces because I'm going to have the Valor for it. But uh, it's just not moving in the background <laughs> over there. I'm looking at my camera. It's like a piece of, well, it's like a piece of paper from the, it's like a paper towel. I was like, I'm like, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! <laughs> I was about to be like, uh, uh, some paranormal shit's going on in my house, people, help me. Um, but last night was fun as fuck. Tally After Dark, once again, was insane, man. We, uh, we went to this, uh, girl's channel. Her name was Tracy. And um, she has, she's a she's a gold maker, and she's a twenty year old Italian girl. And uh, we all went through her channel, and, and of course the, uh, the, the the towel lights ensued with their uh, tits or get the fuck out comments. But it all ended up working out. Like she was all she was all amused by it, and she was all like, you know, oh, love the attention, love the attention. You know how women are. And we uh, she actually said, I'm gonna log on and kill Jaden and check out. Uh, this Tauli, she's like, who's Tauli? We check out this Tauli guy's auction house. So she goes and she creates a level one human on Kill Jaden. And she starts walking from the fucking North Star Abbey to the auction house. And she fucking dies like three times. I felt so sorry for the girl. I got on my sandstone drake, fucking picked her up and then by, by gold shine and just flew her over to the auction house. And she was there and she was telling me, you know, oh, you should, you should buy this, 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 this and that and sell it for this, 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 this and that. And I'm like, okay. She's like, you know, all, all these items can be sold for like five. I, 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 po I wasted like 200 gold on what she told me to waste on, uh, to buy. And if it actually all sells, I would make a profit of eight, 900 gold. So we'll see if that even happens to begin with. But, uh, I'd like to take this time to give a shout out to Wow Hobbs. Hobbs. Chest pound. No, hold on. I gotta do a double chest pound for Hobbs. Hold on. Double chest pound for Hobbs, baby. He gave me a little shout out. Uh, he shouted me out on his Twitter saying, you know, I'm watching Tally doing, uh, heroic rag attempts. And then I, he made a video, uh, for his rag, um, video. And at the end, he posted, like, my video. It was his, like, go see Console Crusader for his, uh, tanking tutorials and shit. I was like, I was, you know, I'll be honest, man. I was honored, you know. Hobbs is, like, one of those dudes that just, like, you know, pushes you back and you see you know if he, he mentions your name it's like holy shit Hobbs just talked about me you know you know if someone like you know Swifty or someone like Athene or you know if any like really hardcore PvP or mention my name I'd be like eh that's okay because you know I really don't PvP that much but to have someone who's been in the tanking community just the same amount of time I have like me and Hobbs have been playing World of Warcraft since that shit came out since the beginning and I've been watching him since he was doing his you know, fucking dead minds, level 60, uh, fucking pull the entire instance and kill it at the end videos, you know? And, uh, you know, I'm really happy that he mentioned me. He gave me a shout out. So, you know, uh, Hobbs, much love to you, bro. You know, good luck to you in, uh, in the Firelands. Uh, when you're hitting up all them heroics and shit, you know, good luck to you. If you, you know, you have any questions, come to me. You know, we should just, we, I mean, obviously, hopefully maybe we can hook up on live stream. I saw that you created your own, uh, twitch.tv channel. Maybe you'll be there streaming your raids, you know. That'll be awesome. Uh, I'll follow you up. And uh, he stops by the live stream every now and then. But I th but it was a real honor, you know. Sometimes, you know, you, you just like starstruck sometimes by some people. And I'm not really starstruck by a lot of people. But Hobbs is one of those people that I highly respect because he is a fellow tank. And he's been doing it for a long time. And he's he's been dedicated himself to the, ta to the tanking, you know, I, I guess, you know, the whole tanking genre overall. And, um, you know, he's up there with other names like Ciderhelm and shit like that. And, um, it was, it was a real honor to have him mention me in his video and to give me, in, and to keep giving me shout outs on his Twitter to have people go check me out. And, um, 
Yeah, man. Thanks a lot, Hobbs. Really appreciate it. Uh, so late last night, we were in this uh, heated conversation in my live stream about, you know, of course, the almighty question, the question of all questions. We're going to talk about it. Why so serious? And the question, people, we were we were talking a little argue. We were, uh, some Duke uh, virus came into my channel, and I'm like, virus, virus. That sounds familiar. I look at his channel. I'm like, oh, this is Philo. Philo just recently left. Uh, him and a bunch of people left left the uh, Blood Legion uh, guild. No issue while doing webcam. It's a fucking tradition. And um, he was talking to me about uh, PvP versus PVE. And obviously, at first, he came in and looked like he was trolling, which he probably was. He admitted it later. And um. It's a big fucking de debacle, man. It's like a de big debate in World of Warcraft, you know. PvE versus PvP. What takes more skill? What's more complicated? Uh, the variables. What's easier? What's not? Uh, who do people respect more? Is it balanced? Is it not balanced? And um, I'll give you guys my view of it. You guys can go ahead and post in the comments, you know, what you guys think. You can tell me. But, um... I think in PvE, if, if PvE was as skillless, skillless as people say it is, then every guild in the fucking world, I think, would have heroics down. But that's not the case. You need 25 people to band together for one simple, uh, you know, plan of execution to down a boss. And that's not the easiest thing to do. Now, PvE is more individual. You yourself are responsible for your role. Your DPS, you got to max out your DPS. You have to, you know, do the most that your class can possibly do in World of Warcraft. Uh, a tank, you have to hold your aggro. You have to blow your cooldowns. You have to not die. Healers, you're responsible for the entire raid in general. You're responsible for healing everybody. Tanks, the raid, when uh, AOE cooldowns, whatever it may be. And uh, does all that take a lot of skill? Not really, but... To actually execute it is a whole different story. Now, in PvP, it's almost the same, right? They say that PvE is too predictable. The boss is scripted, right? You know what he's going to do. There's a timer. The timer tells you when he's going to do this ability, that ability, and this ability. And then it's up to you to execute it. Now, in PvP, of course, you're facing another person. It's not an AI anymore. You're, you're, you're facing someone that could possibly outthink you that could possibly outsmart you and play a mental game with you. But, but, at the same time in PvP, PvP in arenas is also predictable. For high-end arenas, players know what the other classes can do. Players know roughly what's going to happen, what ability is going to be used next. Because you, you've been playing and doing arenas for so long that you can predict the other team's uh, move already. And they can probably predict the same for you. So PvE and PvP both have that aspect of being predictable. Not so much scripted, but you know what's going to happen eventually in a fight. And just like in PvE, when you wipe and you wipe to a boss mechanic and you have to adjust, it's the same thing in PvP. You always have to be adjusting in different comps. And the, the biggest thing that I argued that I couldn't stand is that in PvP, not every comp is viable. Now, someone told me, can you, uh, I, I said it's not balanced. You know, you can't just put three Paladin tanks together and create a comp and get 2,800 in Gladiator. And the counter to that was, well, can you take 10 Hunters, 10 Mages, and 5 Healers and down Heroic Rag? I said, no, of course not. PvE is more individual. You need individual classes. You can mix it up as much as you want. And you could probably down a boss. But in PvP, it's in, it's not balanced. Blizzard has said it themselves in the past. Blizzard has said, PvP Arena was basically the biggest mistake we've made in WoW. Because it created such a big imbalance to the game. That now, for the past couple of years, it's been so hard trying to fucking, you know, juggle the goddamn classes and the talents and all that shit. And PvE, of course, is more easy to balance because everything is scripted. So in the end, I don't like PvP arenas as much as PvE because I can't do what I love to do and have fun. I can't take two of my best friends and say, yo, let's do, let's do uh, prop threes and let's try to go for glad. Even if three prop paladins or three of any class or if you mix like fucking a prop pally and two enhanced shamans or something in threes for fun, you won't hit glad. You won't hit 29 3k rating. 
It's not going to happen. Why? Because the comp is not viable. The composition is not viable. And that's the part that saddens me is that, you know, Blizzard has made it so that, you know, you can't, you, only certain compositions are the top. And I don't know. I just don't agree with that. I don't agree that, I call that arenas is only good every season because one class is more OP than the other. If you've been looking at PvE raids lately, the DPS from all the, uh, from all of the classes in most of the top end guilds are roughly the same. One class might be able to deep out DPS the other, but that wouldn't drive a raid leader to start stacking 15 mages. Whereas in PvP, you know that if you play fucking, you know, PMR, or if you play TSG, is it TSG? Yeah, TSG or whatever, the Pally Warrior or whatever. You know that you're probably going to be high rated just because of the mechanics of those classes. So the reason I'm really not too keen on PvP Arena overall is because there's such a huge imbalance in it. Like I said, admitted by WoW, biggest mistake in World of Warcraft was their arenas. But uh, tell me what you guys think. We can have a nice little big conversation about this. I'm really not going to argue with anyone in my video logs. I never do. But um, but yeah, so today I'm going to... Uh, Talion Sargeris, I'm going to do some uh, more gear leveling on him. I'm going to see if I can find some raids to do on most of my ults. I want to try to get all my ults at least, um, you know, maybe Firelands 10 men normal ready. Might be possible, don't know. And, uh, yeah, so once again, uh, PvP versus PvE. Wow, Hobbs, pops to you, bro. Um, Tracy Chick with the gold, you're welcome. Tally After Dark is the shit. Uh, also, there has been a new subscriber feature added to uh, twitch.tv slash tally, and I will talk about that more on my live stream today, which will be happening after you're done watching this video. I know you. I know you. You motherfucker, you. Joe Pesci, I love Joe Pesci. You motherfucker, that's all he says. You Jew fuck. That's all he says. That's all he says. In every fucking movie, he's like, he just points a finger and says, you Jew motherfucker. Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, love those guys, good fellas, Al Pacino, I might watch Scarface today, anyway guys, thanks for watching, once again, thanks for all the strong support, uh, let's keep it rolling, let's keep it going, uh, let me know what you guys think about the subjects that we spoke about today, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot more tanking tutorials on this channel, uh, next is probably going to be Death Knight, is he a Death Knight or Bear Tank? I just don't know. Um, I'm going to have to actually take some time uh, away from my live stream this week. Maybe, like, you know, start late, later than usual to uh, do some of these videos. So, yeah, Paul. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.